Hey everyone, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Pan. I'm going to show them an update on the tornadoes from Monday. You probably saw on my Facebook page. If you didn't see already, go there. I'll show it to you now. Um, seven tornadoes were confirmed from Monday's storms. We knew there would be several tornadoes in here. And if you go back and look at my radar interpretation from early in the week, I showed you how this was a very complex evolution. That's on my Facebook page as well. But you can see we had seven total tornadoes. Um, we had four that were, or th three, excuse me, that were EF2s and four that were EF1s. The strongest tornado was the Hickory Tornado, uh, which was on the ground for almost 23 miles and 125 mile, mile per hour winds. The Spartanburg Tornado as well had 120 miles per hour uh, winds. And notice the, the, the track of these. Some of these were on the ground for 20 miles, 12 miles, 13 miles, pretty long track tornadoes. But there was a lot of straight line wind damage in here as well. And it was really difficult for the Weather Service to determine straight line versus tornado. So let me go into the uh, assessment here. I'll go down to Spartanburg first, and you can see the track of these two separate tornadoes. This was the, um, the EF1, which you can see moving through most of Spartanburg from Woodruff up to Spartanburg. It weakened, and a new storm formed, a new tornado formed up closer towards um, the interstate here. You can see in between. When you see the green dots, those are straight line wind damage reports, not tornado reports. It became an EF2 around, um, around. Um, it looks like right here on the interstate uh, 85, and then crossed over and moved up um, towards the northeast and then weakened um, as it moved up into the north northern part of Spartanburg County. We then had two separate tornadoes form in, near Cherokee County, uh, one west of Gaffney and one a little closer to Chesney. Well, that one moved into Cliffside and Rutherford County. This one moved into Cleveland County and was actually an EF2 for a while as it crossed the North Carolina border. And this blue area is just a swath of regular wind damage. The EF1 moved back into uh, Cleveland County. It looks like they kind of came together for a while over Polkville and then moved through the Lawndale area. There's a lot of straight line wind damage in Lawndale. Um, and then another EF1 tornado in northern Cleveland County. That was on the ground for a long time. Moved up into northwestern Lincoln County and then moved into southwestern Catawba County. Then the storm became really complicated. We had a lot of straight line wind damage. Some of the security footage and some of the videos I saw from Hildebrand um, and areas in southern Burke County and western uh, Catawba County and this area in particular, uh, this was straight line wind damage that was approaching 100 miles per hour. So really damaging winds. Embedded within that larger wind field, there was smaller tornadoes that formed, and the strongest was the EF2, which touched down near the Hickory Regional Airport, um, near the Crawdad Stadium as well. That had winds of 125 miles per hour. It moved northeast from Burke County back into Catawba County, crossed the Catawba River, and then moved up here into southwestern Alexander County. Now again, the yellow line, that's the track of the tornado. The tornado is on the ground for almost 23 miles. It moved up towards Little River, Bethlehem, and then Ellendale in um, parts of Alexander County, and then moved all the way up into the northern part of the county. Stayed on the ground almost all the way through Alexander County until it got back into Wilkes County. And notice all the, the green dots. These are subsequent straight line wind damage that was around the tornado track. So you may not have been in the tornado, but you certainly were impacted by the same storm in many locations with straight line wind damage. Then the storm moved up into Wilkes County and produced another tornado. A lot of wind damage in Wilkes County, straight line wind damage, but an EF1 in North Wilkesboro, which then moved north and continued up into Allegheny County, producing wind damage, and then moved up into southwest Virginia, where two more tornadoes touched down, one near Blacksburg and one near um, Galax there. So you could see, I'll widen this back out, and you can see the damage path, and I'm looking at the survey, a lot of damage from this storm, seven separate tornadoes in this path. And back on October 8th, we had nine tornadoes, which were almost in the identical spot. Just to show you, I'm going to go back and plot the eighth tornadoes as well to kind of put them together. So these, this was the um, October 8th tornado track. You can see it there. And then I'm going to put on here the track from today's tornado, or um, Monday's tornadoes, excuse me, as well. We'll put them together. So there's the two separate tracks. Um, back on the 8th, this was the track of the tornado right here. And on Monday, this was the track of the tornado, tornadic storm right in here. So you could t see two separate tracks, but almost very similar in the same location. In fact, the one track here in parts of uh, Cherokee County 
there was actually a tornado that was about 800 yards apart from each other that touched down in there. So just an incredible um, event that happened on Monday after one that happened on the 8th. Of course, you can go to my Facebook page. I have all the updates there and any additional maps you need. But please, prayers and thoughts, everybody recovering. Hope you, you're safe. Hope your home and your property is able to be rebuilt. But um, hopefully we won't see another outbreak like this in a long time. It's been a crazy month.